In this video, we'll learn to use the form y equals mx plus c to identify parallel lines. So first of all, what are parallel lines? Parallel lines are lines which are at equal distance from each other, so they never meet. So if I just try and roughly draw it here, it gives you an idea. Or these two would be parallel lines. So the direction doesn't really matter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw three different lines and we'll have a look at what they have in common. So we'll start with y equals 2x. So for some values of x, such as 0, 1 and 2, we'll work out the values of y. So when x is equal to 0, y is going to be 2 times 0, which is 0. Now 2 times 1 which is 2, 2 times 2, which is 4. So we'll plot this in the graph. So we've got when x is 0, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 2. When x is 2, y is 4. And then we just use a ruler to connect these points and extend the line. So we don't need to work out a range of values because just by extending the line, we've got it covered. Right, so now we'll have a look at y equals 2x plus 3. So we've got x and then y. Again, we'll use the same values. 0, 1 and 2. So when x is 0, we'll go 2 times 0 is 0, add 3 gives us 3. When x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, add 3 is 5. When x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, add 3 equals 7. So I'm going to plot this on the graph again. So we've got points 0, 3. We've got 1, 5. 2, 7. And now we'll do y equals 2x minus 4. So when x is 0, 1 and 2, we'll work out the values for y. So when x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, take away 4, gives us negative 4. When x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, take away 4, gives us negative 2. And when x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, take away 4, gives us 0. So we've got 0, negative 4, 1, negative 2, and 2, 0. Connecting these points. I've got to hold this ruler like this because otherwise it's going to wipe up everything that is underneath. But normally when you do this on paper, you're going to hold this flat. So what do you notice about these three lines? I'll add the equations here as well. Are these parallel lines? Yes, they are. What do you notice about them? What do you notice about the gradient? 
which is the coefficient in front of x. That is 2 in all three cases. So the gradient is the same. So what we can say is that when lines have the same gradient, they are parallel. So to identify parallel lines, we need to look at the gradient. Does the intercept, the y-intercept matter? No, it doesn't. Like here it would be zero. Here is three, here is negative four. It doesn't really matter. You could have negative 100, you could have positive 52 doesn't really matter. The y-intercept does not matter. It's only the gradient because that determines the steepness, as we've said before. And all of these lines have the same steepness. So if I look at y equals 4x plus 9, and I try to find a line that is parallel to this, and I can write so many different options y equals 4x minus 15. Could do minus 26, minus 1. Or just y equals 4x. Or y equals 4x plus 11. What about y equals negative 4x? No, it's not because it will have a downward slope like this. So that means it's not parallel to these. What about y equals 3x plus 4 and y equals 6x plus 4? Are they parallel? No, they're not. They have the same y-intercept but they've got different gradients and the gradient determines whether the lines are parallel.